in the first six chapters of the Gospel of Mark, we get a very clear understanding of what it means when we say that Jesus is Lord. He's Lord of creation. He's Lord of life and death. He's Lord of the whole spiritual realm. And now we have to reflect on what does it mean to say Jesus is Lord over our lives. Because Jesus is alive and Jesus is Lord, Jesus is constantly guiding us in a direction. Oftentimes when we think about hearing God's calling, we hear the thought that God, uh, Jesus is calling us to do something. And that's true. Jesus will call us to do something. But what we forget a lot of the time is that occasionally Jesus calls us to not do anything. He calls us to stop and to rest for the fellowship of the community and also so that Jesus can reveal even more of his power and glory to the world. This Sunday I'm going to talk about what it looks like to follow Jesus when he calls us to do and not do and how to recognize the difference. I look forward to seeing everybody in worship this Sunday at 8.30 and 11 o'clock in the sanctuary and also on our live stream.